Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at the Alton Towers Resort to take you for a tour around CBeebies Land. It opened back in 2014. It's the main family area here at Alton Towers and in this vlog we're going to walk around the area, show you the rides and also look at the height restrictions for each of the attractions as well. It gives you a bit of an idea if you are coming what ride your little ones can go on. Along with that as well we're going to have a look at the entertainment options, talk about the shows, show times and so much more. What's available in this area here at Alton Towers as of May 2023. And of course you've got the beautiful entrance archway into the area which is really colourful and makes a fantastic photo opportunity when you're making your way into CBeebies Land. And yeah, when you come through that entrance, you come underneath the trees and also the track for Get Set Go, um, which is the attraction that runs around the top just here. And you can see the bugs all attached onto the back. And yeah, there's so much colour throughout this area. Everything from the walls to even on the floors down here too. And yeah, this is something we also did at Thomasland at Drayton Manor a few weeks ago. We said we we're going to take you around and just do a full tour of these areas just to make it easier for you if you're coming down here and uh, showing you what there is. But yeah, here's a look at the map of CBeebies Land, showing you the full themed area. So of course, you've got a mix of different rides, attractions and interactive experiences throughout this area as well. And there really is something here for everyone. It's a big area that over the past nine years has seen lots of expansion uh, from when the original area opened. And uh, yeah, they're putting lots of new rides and expansions such as the Octonauts Roller Coaster Adventure. Uh, that got added in, a nice Sam Pearl Family Coaster down here. Um, other further additions were the Furchester Hotel, Go Jess's Room to Zoom ride, Hey Dougie's Big Adventure Badge, which opened last year. And actually some of the original stuff um, has changed over nine years. It's like where Hey Dougie is now, that used to be Tree Food Tom, and that's because of the IP. Things get updated to match that, don't they? Yes, I think sometimes the IPs just die out and they bring new ones in. Yeah, and that's just how it goes, isn't it? Some programs go off TV and other stuff comes in, and that's the thing with a land like this. They've always got to change things to keep it updated. But we're going to have a walk around, show you some of the rides, and we'll be actually be able to take you on a few of the attractions here in CBeebies Land as well. So we're going to actually start off with a walk through the Something Special Sensory Garden. There's Justin Fletcher over there too. Let's make our way down into this nice little interactive walkthrough experience. There's Mr Tumble. Yeah, you got all the flowers around here. Lots of different photo opportunities. Look at that snail on there, Charlotte. <laughs> you snail. Yeah, when I was a kid, of course, this was the location for the Alton Towers bookworm that actually now resides in my theme park museum. Yeah, it used to stand literally right where we are here. So there used to be the button over on the other side there of this little stream. And then, yeah, the bookworm himself was standing here in a huge book. Somewhere here. So yeah, with this walkthrough experience, you've got lots of different interactives where you can press the buttons. And can you sign Ladybird like Mr. Tumble just there? So yeah, lots of different things to get involved in all around this area. There's the spotty bag just there. What's inside the spotty bag? A it's lady. a ladybird. There you go. <laughs> like the little archway around here too. Nice little chill out area actually all around here. And yeah, you got all the different buttons and interactive experiences around here. Lots of mirrors, lots of pictures. With Mr. Tumble all the way around there too. Got some drums over here, Charlotte, for you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. Right, we're going to head around this corner and we'll go on our first attraction. It's one that we can actually take you on, and that's Get Set Go. It used to be the former Squirrel Nutty ride when I was a kid. And yeah, the entrance is just around here. Yeah, it's a very colourful area. It does get very busy, and a big top tip for you with this area and just family areas in general, uh, much like Peppa Pig down at Pulton's Park, Thomas Land at Drayton Manor, they do get quieter on an afternoon. So yeah, I definitely recommend um, coming more on an afternoon. It says zero minute wait on there, but it looks as probably about a 10 minute wait. I would say, and yeah, here's a look. So yeah, the height restriction for Get Set Go. Children under 1.1 meter must be accompanied by an adult. And yeah, that's the full restriction board just over there too. That's the big bug. Even in the queue line for some of the rides, you've got different interactives as well, which is great. Yeah, being designed to keep the kids entertained whilst you're waiting for some of the rides, which is good. These different puzzles. It's 
goosebumps are all asleep. But now it's time to wake them up. Get set. Go! Hey, and we thought we'd come on this attraction first because you get a really nice view looking over CBB's land. Stay seated and keep your hands on board audio and too. Legs inside the bug mobile. So yeah, that's the Let's something special sensory garden that we walked over just. Down below is the something special sensory garden where you can look for the things in Mr. Tumble's spotty bag. You get some really nice views across the area and not just in CBB's land. When we get around the corner, you get a great view of Tower Street. It's the CBB's house. Nice postman, Pat. Oh no, the bugs are all fast asleep. You've also got the photo studio at the bottom there where you can have lots of pictures done. Wake up, bugs. Wake up. Well done, everyone. The bugs are wide awake. There's a view over to Big Fun Show Times. Here you have three different shows running in there at the moment. We'll show you the board can later on. My personal favourite, the Teletubbies. Childhood Epsi classic. Land. Can you see Epsy Daisy? Why don't we give her a wave? <laughs> Hello, Epsy Daisy! <laughs> Look down towards Go Jetters. Furchester Hotel on the left there, too. There's Upsy Daisy. There she is. In the night garden, magical boat ride, and the clock tower there too. I made a mistake and mixed up all the parcels for Greendale. Would you like to come and join my special delivery service? That would be great. I'll see you later. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> I like how he's having a conversation with him there on the audio. So nice and colourful round here, especially in spring, all the flowers, and yeah, it's a really nice part of Alton Towers. I like the noise this ride makes as well. That's like childhood nostalgia for me. I always remember riding on the screw and nutty and just like the kind of whirring noise in the background, remembering that. Can you see the CBeebies bugs painting some pictures? What do you think they're painting? He's painting himself, I think. What sorts of and things a great view would you like to paint? Of the towers. Gorgeous from up here. CBeebies bugs help to look after everything that goes on. Of in course, CBeebies Mardi Gras is ongoing at the moment, so check out our Mardi Gras vlog if you haven't already seen it. Looks like this is where they Petrol pump. <laughs> they pump up the tires and fill them with go-go juice, ready for their journey. Through the trees. Hooray! The bugs have topped up. That's it, we got our go-go juice. Thank you, and we're ready for the next ride. You've had a great journey riding the bookmobile. So yeah, the flat There's track continues around all of it apart from this section like where you got these little bumps. The Nothing area. too much though. You can meet some of your favourite sea babies friends. Like Hey Dougie, Bing, Iggle Piggle, and Upsy Daisy. We also get a unique view of Spinball Wizzo outside of CBB's Land, of course. We're up here on this corner. Nice ride, about a three and a half minute attraction. Get set, go, treetop adventure. Hey. Oh, look, this bug has had so much fun. He's tired. I do enjoy a ride round on Get Set Go Treetop Adventure because you get some really good views from up there. You know me, I like them sort of rides where you're just relaxing, looking out over the park. Been on there for ages, so it was nice to have a good view up there. That's the thing, we don't really come in here that much. No, obviously, no. it is CBeebies line, it gets really busy in here. Yeah, quite busy. Yeah, so we like to come up more than an off peak day. We wait 10 minutes. Nice photo opportunity down there. And of course, there is the roller coaster in this area too the Octonauts Roller Coaster Adventure. Just over here, five minute wait, as we can see at the moment. Height restrictions, children must be 0.9 or above. Children between 0.9 and 1.1 must be accompanied by an adult. So yeah, let's have a look at it in action. We can't take you on this one, but we'll show you a game round. Now I've got to say, I do love the train design on here. It's so colorful. And here it comes, you get two laps on here. Two lap special, is the whale gonna squirt? We're about to find out. Hey! And there's Captain Barnacles in the front just there. I do know quite a lot about CBBs, and that's because I used to work in this area for quite a bit when I worked at Alton Towers. Yeah, I know quite a lot about the rides around here. Used to work on, well, Get Set Go, Postman Pat, in the Night Garden, Octonauts just here. 
Good little family coast there, this. I do like it. I like that. Yeah, two laps round. It's not too intense for the little ones, this. It's just a nice kind of basic layout. A couple of small drops. And that's the fastest section down there at the end. Yeah, nothing too much. It's a great first coaster for little ones. So now we're following the area around in a loop. However, of course, you've got multiple different pathways that lead to different areas. There's two main walkways that lead into Big Fun Showtime. And yeah, here's a look at the different entertainment that they offer here as of May 2023. Hey Dougie Live, the map badge. You can see there's a couple of shows of that on today. But again, times are subject to change. So come and check out these boards or of course download the official Alton Towers Resort app and then you'll get all the show times. You've got Bing Live. Bing's Day Out at CBeebies Land. And then down here at the bottom, my personal favorite, the Teletubbies Live. Comment down below, who's your favorite Teletubby? For me, it's always gonna be La La. Of course, you've got Poe, Tinky Winky, and Dipsy. Who's your favorite, Charlotte? I'm not a massive fan of the Teletubbies, to be oh. honest. They used to creep me out. Really? I used to love them, I do. Nice. La La, yeah, uh, that's La La. What about Tinky Winky? Fan. You don't like Tinky Winky? Oh, now of course they've updated all the shows over the past nine years since this area opened as different brands and things have become more popular. Um, there's been all sorts of different things over the years. But yeah, that's the current show offering in Big Fun Showtime. And it is a lovely area around here. You've got lots of interactive space and also the big grassy area too, which is really nice up here just to kind of chill out and yeah, just relax and enjoy the area really. It is really nice. You've got the little uh, Explorer snack box. Off to the right, just selling a few drinks and treats and that sort of thing. Obviously big toilet blocks down here. But yeah, it's a great space this, kind of having all the grass around here. Lots of seating. And that's the thing, you can just kind of sit on the grass and watch the shows. It's nice in here, isn't it? I do like it, it's very colourful. Yeah, it's a great space. You've got like the little tents that have got some interactives and that like, hopscotch and stuff over there. And, you know, this is where the shows are. I mean, the Teletubbies are running like an hour or so. So we're still in the area, we'll uh, come and show you the Teletubbies in here. Always a good excuse to come and see the Teletubbies. But yeah, I do like how they haven't got loads of seating uh, and stuff around here. It's better just sitting on the floor and relaxing. They also do meet and greets in here at the different shows too. And yeah, this is the other entrance in and out of this part of the land. Just round the corner then into one of the expansion areas for CBeebies Land. Yeah, you've got Go Jetters Roomster Zoom Ride over at the back. Yeah, it's another one that you can't film on, but we thought we'll show you it just down here. And uh, yeah, it's a spinning ride, very basic. You've got a lever in the front and you can control how high up you want to go. Quite a standard sort of ride. However, it's well, well themed and it's got all audio as well. So you're kind of looking around, um, seeing like different countries and that sort of thing. That's basically how this one works. You've got like the Leaning Tower of Pisa over there at the back and some other props around. Yeah, you've got the little animatronic up there on the top, the little DJ booth, which is quite nice. Good to see that working actually. And yeah, height restrictions to this one. Riders must be 0 0.9 or above to experience this ride. Riders between 0 0.9 and 1.25 must be accompanied by an adult for this one. Nice theme ride. I love the little <laughs> DJ up there on the top. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Some good photo opportunities down here at the front. Very well themed. Statue of Liberty over there in the queue line as well. And yeah, just off to the left of that, you've actually got a live interactive show, which is the Furchester Hotel. It's actually a puppet show, and it's really good in there. Definitely recommend it. Um, it's only about a 15 minute show. I've not done it for many years, actually, but yeah, it's like an interactive puppet show, which is definitely like worth seeing. Half an hour, all the time's out the front. Yeah, you can see them on the, uh, on the board just over there. Right next door, this used to be Tree Food Tom, and then it got rethemed for last year into Hey Dougie's Big Adventure Badge. And yeah, this is a big play area with loads of play equipment. Um, you don't need to queue up or anything like this uh, for this one, but yeah, as you can see, massive play area, loads of slides, hammocks just down there, photo opportunities. No, normally he's out and you actually get a badge, don't you, from Dougie as well, which is quite good. But yeah, it's a really nice play area. It is massive. I mean, I'd have loved this when I was a kid. Yeah, lots of climbing equipment, slides, the clubhouse just down there too. Yeah, it's just a really nice area. Lots going on around here. 
no height restrictions or anything like that for the play area too. It's open for everyone, which is great. I think it's really good in there. So colourful and there's loads to do. Yeah, it's really nice in there. And it's all got like that soft kind of flooring as well. So if you do fall over in there. It's not a hard Yeah, floor. it's not like a tarmac surface or anything. But yeah, it's a really good play I area. Like it. Yeah, it looks a lot better than when it was tree through oh, top. It looks a lot better. We did lose the zip wire though when that happened. I know, and I used <laughs> it was zip good wire. fun. And just around the corner, you've got Peter Rabbit. Hippity hop I'm just here. Are you wearing a plant pot? I'll come back over here and we'll get to appreciate that a bit more. There you go. <laughs> Your friend just down there, Peter Rabbit. Looks a bit different when I was a kid. It's quite ironic really because this area used to be home to the Peter Rabbit and Friends ice show back when I was a kid. Yeah, it was literally right where Big Fun Showtime is now. But yeah, this is basically two um, frog hopper style attractions. It's very similar ride experience to the frog hopper that can be found, of course, up in the world of David Williams. Yeah, this one is Peter Rabbit themed. Uh, I mean, they're not too forceful, these, are they, really? Just bounce yeah, up and down not. a little bit, not too much. And yeah, you've got a minimum height restriction of 0.9. That's the thing, there's a lot in CBB's land which has got a 0.9 height restriction. But yeah, I'll just get a little bit of footage of that in action for you. Please be aware that Peter Rabbit's hip to hop is a height restricted attraction. This means our child must be at least 9 centimetres to ride today. Unfortunately, her child is not 9 centimetres here, like that's going hippie or hopping. But you can double check issues at the bottom and the entrance to the attraction. Yeah, as you can see, it heads up to the top, then drops down quite slowly. You only get a little bit of a bounce, hence the name Hibbity Hop. Pretty well themed though, big plant pots, got some pumpkins over at the back there too. Nice little family attraction. I'm glad they've got two of them for capacity as well. Technically three, you count the one in the world of David Williams. And right next door you've got Andy's Adventures Dinosaur Dig. You can also see any of the show times just on the outside for that here too. So yeah, that's a bit like the Fur Chester Hotel in that it's an interactive experience. Just takes place in this little building over here. And yeah, quite good fun actually. I've only done it once. Um, but yeah, it's great for the kids. And that's the thing with this area. It's not just all about rides. They've got quite a few interactive experiences and live shows. Uh, entertainment has got a huge focus throughout this area. Yeah, some of the good photo ops around that's really nice isn't it good detailing on there a little bit of an expansion pad over here as well i remember when there were some rumors a few years ago this was before the world of david williams that they were potentially going to move the driving school down here i don't know what it would have been themed to um in the cbb's ip but that was a rumor and then obviously they kind of redid that whole area what was cloud cuckoo land um and they got the cuckoo cars driving school and then yeah that never happened but um yeah a bit of an expansion pad here for something in the future i personally think the driving school would have fit so well down here yeah i would have done something completely different with the world of david williams and, and brought a couple of them rides and probably retired frog hopper because it's a similar attraction yeah, exactly. to, to peter rabbit down there isn't it you got some toilet facilities just around here too and then of course justin's house pyomatic factory just over here. So this used to be right being a Barry Bishbash. You're getting the theme with this. Quite a lot of the attractions were here in this area before and they were just re-themed into CBeebies. And um, then also there were some new bits that have been put in over the years too. And you've got In the Night Garden, which isn't too busy. I think we will, should we go on it? Let's, let's give it a go, yeah. Good time to do it just after lunch. 20 minutes it says, but we've got to take you on here. We can take you on with a POV on this. Yeah, there's quite a lot of interactives here in the queue line for In the Night Garden as well. This by far gets the busiest queues in the area. Very popular ride. And yeah, we briefly spoke about Justin's house, but yeah, we'll show you that in a bit more detail when we come off. Yeah, and of course, you can also stay over in the CBeebies Land Hotel here at the Alton Towers Resort. You can see a big advert for that here in the queue line for In The Night Garden. And yeah, they've got all the different themed rooms available in there too. All the nice stars in the ceiling. A little video playing whilst you wait over there too. Okay, and we only waited 10 minutes there. Love the water wheel. We we'll make our way through the archway into the night garden. Shout it out! That's right! 
Eagle Higgly Eagle Off. We're going to catch the Ninky Knock. Oh no, it's the Ninky Knock. Catch the Ninky Knock. The Ninky Knock train. An action there. That's right. It's the Pinky Pong. The Pinky Pong? As you can hear, there is onboard audio. It seems very quiet. Whose house is this? And are they in or are they out? It's the Tombly Boos. How many can you see? Tombly Boo, Tombly Boo, knock on the door. Tombly Boo, Tombly Boo, sit on the floor. Tombly there they are. Here is my nose. Tombly Boo, Tombly Boo, that's how it goes. The ha <laughs> yeah. I think it normally tells us, but yeah, yeah the audio is not working. And we've got some audio again now. Here's my favourite round here. Macapaca. Macapaca. <laughs> there he is. Oh. Yeah, the audio is out of sync now. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. I hope you're enjoying the ride through the night garden. There's Upsy Daisy. <laughs> Yeah, just ignore the audio now, it's out of sync. <laughs> That's not the Titifers. <laughs> They're around the corner. It's Maca Packer's cave. Is he in? Yes. Hello, Maca Packer. That's not Maca Packer. We've already seen him. Can we clap with you? Ready? Maca Packer, Aka Waka, Mika Maca, me one. I'm the only Daisy too. Ipsy, upsy, Daisy do. There he is. Piggle Piggle. And that was our ride on In the Night Garden. And that was our ride round just there with Iggle Piggle, Upsy Daisy and friends. And yeah, you can exit through into the toy shop just here as well. But we'll show you that in just a second. Firstly, we're gonna talk a little bit about Justin's house, Pyomatic Factory, just over here. Oh, we've got Andy's adventures coming through. <laughs> here they come. Hi! <laughs> nice truck coming through there. Fantastic. Yeah, I just thought we'd show you the height restriction board here as well. Yeah, there's no minimum height restriction for this one. Just children under one metre must be accompanied by an adult. So yeah, you don't need to be a certain height to go on in the night garden. But yeah, it's looking very tired that, isn't it? It's a clean up in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, unfortunately. And all the audio was out of sync as well. Yeah, like, no, nah, it's not looking good, that. Yeah, could do with some uh, major renovation work on there, I think. Especially with it being 10 years next year, CBB's land. Here we go, Justin's house. Yeah, here's a look at the restrictions board for this one. Guests at Justin's house must be 0 0.9 or above. And yeah, when it's busy, they actually run this in sessions. Yeah, as you can see, it's just got a five minute wait today. And you actually get a view into the Pyomatic factory just around here. So yeah, back in the day, this used to be very Bish Bash. And then before that, you used to actually have all the animals in here. It was a barn, a real barn with real animals. Here's a look inside. Really good fun this is, very noisy though. 
So you've got all these shooters, you have the little foam balls, and yeah, you can shoot each other all the way across. You can put them into the middle just here. Great fun in there, it really is. It is so good in there. I used to go in there all the time when I was a kid. I don't know if you still do this or not, but when I worked here, we used to have staff nights in here. Yeah, it was all the staff in there. We used to have a good laugh, like, you know, they just open it up like on an evening after we'd all finished work, just to go and have a go in there. Yeah, really good fun. But yeah, that's a little look inside. Justin Towers Pyre Massive Factory. Back out into the lovely sunshine. Nice day today. We'll take a left and we'll show you this area. Jojo and Gran at home. So yeah, this isn't a ride. It is just a walkthrough experience. Um, yeah, once you're inside there, you got like lots of interactives again. And that's the thing. It's, yeah, it's not all about the, the rides in this area. You've got quite a lot of interactive attractions too. As you can see there, like little tables, like, you know, just walkthrough kind of stuff to see around in there. The photo opportunity out the front. Big post box. Hey, Jojo and Gran Gran. That's home. Big facade on that one, though. And yeah, here's a look at Little Explorer's lunchbox. This is the main food area inside CBB's Land. We've done a full food vlog on the channel, so make sure you check it out. If you haven't already seen it, you really like it in there, don't you? I really like there. They've got like jack potatoes and stuff. It's great in there. Nice, healthy options. Well, there's no queue for it, so we may as well take you on with another ride we can POV on. And that's Postman pa Parcel Post. Yeah, we'll go on it. We can take you on this one. Literally, one family waiting there. So yeah, let's go and have a ride on Postman Pat. And then we'll show you these final few bits here in the area. I do like Postman Pat. This is my favorite ride down here. Height restriction, children under 1.1. Must be accompanied by an adult. So much like in the night garden, there's no kind of minimum height restriction for Postman Pat. I should know, I used to operate this one. And again, you've got a few interactives in the queue line, like what's in your parcel? You press them and the match up and all that kind of stuff. Oh dear, it's not the right one, Charlotte. <laughs> Let's go on. You get to see Jess the cat in the queue line here too. Hello. <laughs> Let's ride. Here we go! Again, this one's got onboard audio. Got the little seats in the front. For the little ones. And yeah, you got all the interactives here too. Which is good, you got the horns. Oh, both working. That's good. Who have we got round here? There's AJ playing with his train set. But something's missing. What can he use to pull the carriages? There we go, I think he needs a train. What do you think? There we go. Well done, AJ. Now that we have will be happy. So yeah, this used to be the tractor ride when I was a kid. Old McDonald's tractor ride, do you remember that, Charlotte? Oh, what a classic. And Thompson Ground. He's counting his livestock. I'm waiting for a very important delivery. What's he waiting for, do you sheep. think? You reckon it's the sheep? Let's find out. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh no, we've got a closed road. Oh, we've got a diversion on the go. Are you serious? Oh no. Not PC Selby. Has had to close the road. Not PC Selby. Oh no. Oh, there's a pothole. Never mind. You'll just have to Thank take you. another route. That's just like most roads in the UK. Yeah. Pothole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not the spanner yet. Oh. Oh no. The spanner's for here. You're too oh, early. No, you didn't need it. How's a spanner going to fix a pothole? Well, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Glenn is fixing my special. There's the photo service. studio again. Looks like he needs something. Now he needs to finish the job. Back in my day, Pose and Pat didn't have a helicopter, but he does now. You should get your parcels quicker. I know. I do like Pose and Pat. I think he's a great ride. I think he's my favourite in the area, actually. I do like it. I did used to love Post and Pat there when I was little. And there's the clock again for you. I know what he needs. A paintbrush. <laughs> As it likes. <laughs> Love Mrs. Goggins. One last letter. There we go. 
And that's Post and Pat Parcel Post. There's a lovely picture of the towers in here that you don't often see unless you come on. Nobody ever notices it. It's just here on the left. I didn't notice it until I worked on her. There you go. Lovely picture of the tower's ruins. Here's Mrs. Goggins sorting Mr. out the accomplished. mail. She's just waiting for one last letter. That's it, straight in. Fantastic. Thanks for riding. On ride footage there from Postman Pat Parcel Post. Nice family attraction in the I area. I do like that. It's a good fun ride. Yeah, it is. Very colourful. Lots going on. You've got the interactives in there too, which is fantastic. And the final ride to show you here in CBB's land is the Bugby Go Round just here. Children under one metre must be accompanied by an adult. And yeah, I'll just show you the ride in action here from the queue line. So you've got like, the little cars to sit on just on there. Yeah, very colourful attraction. And again, this used to be part of the farm when I was a kid. Do you remember that, Charlotte? Dual do Derby. Oh, yeah. Like pigs and yeah, stuff, yeah, pig. I think there was goats on there actually. There was actually. And there used to be the singing barn right behind you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there you used to go into the singing barn, which used to be great. Well, there you go, that's CBeebies now. We'll have a little look through the Little Explorer's mm -hmm. toy shop and just show you some of the bits in here inside of this wonderful family area at the park. You've got lots of CBeebies land branded items, which I like, and then of course you can get things like your plushies for Hey Dougie and that sort of thing, but I quite like the custom stuff actually for CBeebies land, like get set go, you know, it's nice isn't it that? All the little bugs, five pounds of those, eight pounds for the mugs, only small though. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Seven, 17 pounds, is that right? It is, yeah, it's quite small as well for the price. All the hoodies and that sort of thing. Chatty bug, what's chatty about it? <laughs> is it a talk? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's he saying to you? <laughs> Little uh, backpacks are nice. I used to have one of these, a rain backpack when I was a kid. £15 for them. Quite good. <laughs> Lots of other merch available in here too. And then you've got the big plushies with CBeebies land on. There you go. How much are they? £18 for the bigger ones there. And then we've got some of the smaller ones down here at the bottom too. And then really a lot of the rest of the shop is just kind of generic CBB stuff that, you know, I say you can get anywhere, not so much, but um, a lot of the items in here I prefer are the ones that have actually got CBB's land on. I think it's a bit more custom to the park, isn't it? But yeah, you can get things for Bing and all that kind of stuff. A bit more of the clothing range that they've got down here too. So yeah, you've got like one for the Bugby go round on the front there. This is nice with the clock tower on the front. And back in the day, that used to be a windmill in the farm. That's what I mean. So much of the area was repurposed. £17. Pounds. Expensive. I think that's quite pricey. You're paying for the brand though, I suppose, aren't you? IP stuff, it's always going to cost more. I just like the bugs with a little cap on, to be honest. <laughs> quite nice. There you go. Oh, Charlotte's dropping stuff everywhere. That's it. <laughs> Stocking it back up. Fantastic. There's some nice stuff in here. Quite pricey. It's more of the live entertainment for Andy's adventures. There's a little dinosaur in the box. There's always something going on around in CBeebies land. It is a great area. It needs updating, I think, in some areas. But it is really nice. Are they? Well, doing a, a photo opportunity around here. In Big Fun Showtime. That's what I mean. There's always something going on in this area. Come on then, Charlotte. You're the expert. Who are these here? This is Bing and Flop. Bing's on the right and flop there on Aww. the left hand side. Nice photo opportunity. And of course, if you can do it, it's always best visiting on a weekday. I mean, that's when we're filming this video. As you can see, the land is much quieter than it gets on a weekend and also holidays. I know that's not always possible for people, but if you can do it, it really does help. Um, we've been in the area only about an hour or so filming this video. Um, we could probably have done all the other rides. If we'd have had another hour in here, could have done everything if yeah, we wanted it's not to. That busy at all. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. But if you are still coming weekends and holidays, uh, even in the week, it will be quieter um, on an afternoon making your way through CBeebies land here at Alton Towers. Well, there you go, full tour of the area. Like I say, you've got Thomas Land, also at Drayton Manor. A few weeks ago, we did a video showing you the full area there. Very similar setup for this. We took you on a few of the rides, height restrictions, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already seen it. And yeah, we didn't film a full dedicated video from Peppa Pig World um, down at Paltons Park, but we have covered it in our vlog from Paltons. So yeah, check that out. I mean, they're the three real main 
areas for families in the UK, aren't they really? CBeebies Land, uh, and then of course Thomas Land and Peppa Pig. Yeah, the big hit as well. I mean, you've got Nickelodeon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but I always kind of forget that. It's more for older kids, isn't it, really? Oh, so, yeah, there's not a lot of like rides for the younger ones there. Yeah, and even with that, it's more like Nickelodeon Land's got a lot of rides that we really like, like exactly, Nickelodeon yeah. Streak and stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, overall, it's a great area. It's got lots going for it. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes in the future. Obviously, 10 years next year um, since the area opened. Are oh, we going to see some more investment coming in? Are we going to see some new rides? There is space for it down here. Or are we going to see some more re-themes? I mean, it's certainly possible as brands and IPs change. And obviously, I think CBeebies um, has gone online only, I believe, now. I know that CBBC is not a thing anymore. That's yeah. Really gone. So you got to think, in the long term, will this even still be around a few years yeah, from now? I mean, who knows? But um, this is how it looks as, of course, May 2023. Well, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video here on Theme Park Worldwide. Helping you out a little bit if you're coming here to see Beebe's Land at Alton Towers. Just giving you an idea what the area looks like, the rides that they've got on offer, and also the height restrictions too. It gives you a little plan for when you are coming. You can see exactly what this area has to offer. Yeah, and there's lots going for it. I think there's parts of see Beebe's Land that do look quite tired now and need some work. Even though the area constantly has new investment and refreshes, there's still some parts that look quite tired. In the night garden really needs a bit of work on there, it doesn't really it? It really needs some work and it needs a like a clean up because it's a bit dirty in area. Yeah, definitely. Like the audio being out of sync and that sort of stuff as well yeah, could do with sorting out. out. Um, but overall, look forward to seeing what happens to this area in the future. It's a big part of Alton Towers over the past kind of nine years. It's grown, it's developed. We've got the CBeebies Land Hotel as well that's located here at the resort uh, with all the different themed rooms there too. Uh, so that might be something that you're in interested in staying in if you're coming here to Alton Towers but uh, there we go thank you very much for joining us we've got lots more videos coming up of course check out our regular Nemesis construction updates here from Alton Towers and uh, next up we're going to be doing a full park vlog be our last one before the America trip oh, won't no, it? it will be yeah can't believe it we're off to America next week it's going to be really exciting um, but yeah we've got a big trip coming up for you all and uh, we thought we'd come and do these videos give you some Alton Towers updates uh, before we head out there to the States but uh, thank you very much for watching and that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding. See you in tomorrow's vlog.